Hello, Margaret Sanger's maiden name was Higgins. She was born on September 14, 1879 in Corning, New York to Michael Higgins and Anna Higgins. She was the sixth of 11 children born. Her family was a Roman Catholic working class Irish American family. Her father was a stonemason and her mother was a devoutly Roman Catholic Irish woman. Her mother passed away from the toll of having 11, kid, 11 pregnancies at the age of 50, and then her family lived in property. Sanger was known for her work with and promoting birth control. We're lucky to have her. In 1896, she attended college and the Hudson River Institute. After college, she studied and trained in nursing at White Plains Hospital in Manhattan, Eye and Ear Clinic in New York. In 1902, William Singer, who was an architect, and Margaret married. They had three children together. In 1912, she wrote a column to educate women on sex called What Every Girl Should Know. I did not ever find out what her kid's name was or the sex of the children they had. Besides, I know one daughter. Uh, she was a member of the Women's Committee of the New York Chapter for the Socialist Party and Williams and Women's Labor protest that withheld strikes in both Lawrence, Massachusetts in 1912 and Patterson, New Jersey in 1913. While she worked on the Lower East Side with poor immigrant neighborhood, she still believed that the ability to control a family size was crucial to ending the cycle of women's poverty. While she worked as a visiting nurse, the immigrant wives would ask her for help on how to go about limiting their family size. Some families that she helped, the wives were in poor health because of too many pregnancies, miscarriages, abortions, or them trying to terminate the pregnancies on their own. And while she was trying to help all these women, she was actually breaking the, the Comstock Law that was established in 1873. The Comstock Law was, it prohibited anyone from making birth control or any type of contraceptives available, the publications, um, mailing, promoting, importing, anything related to them topics. It was a crime. In 1914, William and Margaret divorced, and then she started a publication called The Woman Rebel that promoted a woman's right to have birth control. Sanger did not care that she was breaking the law. She wanted to make birth control information available to all women. She got charged with violating the Comstock Law, and she fled to, New to England with the help of friends. While she was in England, her friends shared pamphlets and um, different techniques that she had authored while she was gone. In October 1915, she returned to the United States to stand trial, but the charges were dropped when her five-year-old daughter died unexpectedly. And the public felt sorry for her, so therefore they dropped the charges. Um, after her charges were dropped, she opened the first birth control clinic in 1916. After nine days of it being opened, she, it was raided, and Margaret, her sister Ethel, and all their staff got put in jail for breaking the law. Uh, Margaret and her sister Ethel did 30 days in jail. Then, in 1921, she established the American Birth Control League, which is today called the Planned Parenthood Federation of America. And she married her second husband in 1929, I believe it was. And with the help of him and Catherine McCormick, they were able to recruit... Gregory, the, which was a human reproduction expert, and he helped them to produce birth control and get the formula the right way. 
in 1960, the very first uh, birth control in void was, was approved. And the Supreme Court made birth control legal for married couples in 1965. Margaret died at the age of 86 in a nursing home in Tucson, Arizona on September 6, 1966. And then just a few years after she passed, the Comstock Law had ended. So...